If you've ever heard someone say that high repetition push-ups only increase endurance and don't build mass, they would be dead wrong. We've seen killer chests on people who primarily use push-ups for their chest training. This includes calisthenic athletes, prisoners who have no access to weights, and military personnel to name a few. Push-ups are a low-cost alternative to the bench press. All you need is the ground and other optional items to make it more challenging, while the bench press requires a bench, barbell, and weights. Without resistance, push-ups are free, and adding resistance can be done with bands, weight plates, or a weighted vest. There's research showing push-ups can be as effective as the bench press when loads are matched. For example, this 2020 study by Tiller and Ball compared the similarity in upper body muscle activation between the bench press and push-up at similar loads. 20 resistance trained male athletes with an average age of 22 and a half years old performed push-ups and bench press with four different loads. Push-ups were performed without a weighted vest and with a 10, 20, and 30 kilogram weighted vest. The bench presses were performed at 50 to 80% of the athletes assumed one repetition max and 10 kilogram steps. They found the push-ups targeted the same muscles and when they added similar loads, muscle activation reached similar levels to the bench press. A 2015 study by Kulatayat and others found the push-up exercises can provide similar muscle strength gains as the bench press when loaded similarly. After all, they are both chest pressing movements and if loads can be matched, so can strength gains. For hypertrophy, a fancy word for muscle growth, the load isn't as critical. Several studies have found that training with low loads results in similar hypertrophy to training with moderate and high loads when taking sets to failure. This was shown in this 2015 study by Schoenfeld et al. and a 2012 study by Mitchell et al. This video will discuss 10 variations that will help develop your chest, shoulders, and arms. Let's get started. Number one, standard medium width push-up. Unlike the standard grip width on the flat bench press, which is wider than shoulder width, the majority of your push-ups should be done at or just inside shoulder width. Here are two studies to support our suggested hand position. This 2016 study by Kim and others looked at the effects of changes in palmar width, otherwise known as shoulder width, on various muscle activities. Push-up exercises were performed with three different palmar widths in narrow, neutral, and wide positions. Pectoralis major muscle activity was greater during push-ups performed with the narrow and neutral palmar widths than with the wide palmar width. Similar findings were found in a 2005 study by Cogley and others. Now, of course, you're free to use the width that's most comfortable for you, but based on the studies mentioned, we'd recommend a hand width at or slightly within shoulder width. Moving on, let's discuss what angle to use for most of your push-ups. There has been a fixation with building the upper chest to achieve a square plated chest over the past several years when it comes to the best push-up angle. While this armor plated look sounds intriguing, keep in mind the upper chest, also called the clavicular chest, is a small muscle compared to the rest of the chest. Unless your chest is already well developed, overemphasizing the incline angle over the standard angle is a mistake. For this reason, we'd recommend doing 70 to 80% of most of your push-ups at a normal angle. We'll cover the incline later in this video. With your push-up form, keep your core engaged, your body in a pretty straight line, and your head and neck in a neutral position. Your hands should align with your nipples, and your elbows should come in at around 45 degrees in relation to your body. Now, let's look at ways to make this movement more challenging. Number two, weighted push-ups using a weighted vest, plate, or bands. As discussed in the intro of this video, the push-up can be as effective as the bench press at developing muscle and strength when loads are comparable. Here are a few ways to add weight to the push-up. A weighted vest is the best way to add resistance to the push-up evenly. The weight added to the upper body is excellent since the push-up is mainly an upper body movement. If purchasing and carrying a weighted vest is impractical for you, here's a few other options. Having someone add weighted plates on your back is another way to load the push-up. This may feel uncomfortable at first, but once you're able to keep your push-ups even, the plates will stay stacked. Make sure you place them on your mid to upper back and not your lower back. Last but certainly not least is doing push-ups with resistance bands. The bands are excellent because they are affordable, easy to carry, and they don't require someone else's assistance to load the weight. To perform banded push-ups, place the bands below your palms and across your upper back. Adjust the band so there is tension at the bottom of the push-up and the resistance increases as you press up. Since the push-up is the easiest at the top where the band provides the most significant resistance, the bands complement the push-up's strength curve. Number three, incline push-up. Now that we've established the standard push-up is an excellent exercise for training the chest, let's dive into the incline push-up for targeting the upper chest. Studies have shown the incline angle increases upper chest muscle activation. The same applies to the incline push-up. To make the push-up a more upper chest dominant exercise, place your feet on a platform to create an incline angle. 
Push-up bars are highly recommended for this exercise because the ground will limit your range of motion. Elevate your feet so your body's at an inverted 30 to 45 degree angle at the bottom of the push-up. Number four, diamond push-up. As discussed in the 2016 Kim study mentioned earlier, hand width during push-ups affects muscle activation. One of the findings of this study is that tricep muscle activation was increased with a narrower hand position of 50% of shoulder width. An even narrower hand position is the diamond push-up. When you experiment with this variation, you'll quickly notice your triceps are far more activated than your chest. If the diamond push-up is too challenging for you, feel free to keep a small space between your hands. This will emphasize the triceps with a bit more assistance from your chest. Number five, archer push-up. The archer push-up is an advanced variation of the push-up that adds an element of the chest fly. Get into the push-up position with a wide hand position. Press yourself from one side to the next. This will almost seem like a one-arm push-up, but will include some assistance from the far hand. This movement mixes a wide and narrow hand position depending on which side your body is on. Number six, single-armed push-up. Suppose you've mastered the standard push-up and the archer push-up, and you're ready for more challenging variation. In this case, the single arm push-up at various angles is the next step. Place one arm behind your back and perform the push-up with a single arm. You can do this at the standard angle or at an incline. Be prepared that this is a big jump from the two-handed variations, especially the incline version. Number seven, clapping push-up. For those who want to build power and explosiveness, the clapping push-up is another excellent variation to try. There are two ways this can be used. If the clapping push-up is used to maximize power and explosiveness, stay away from failure and focus on generating the most power on fewer reps. For muscle growth, take these sets to failure with as many reps as possible. A way to combine both is to use a few reps with max explosiveness for several sets and finish with max reps to muscular failure. On the very last set, you can drop set this with standard push-ups. Number eight, pike to handstand push-ups. The pike push-up is a shoulder exercise since we're pressing overhead. How high your feet are during the pike push-up makes it more or less challenging. The easiest variation is to have your feet on the floor with your body in a V-shape. As you advance, you can place your feet on higher and higher platforms. The most challenging of the body weight shoulder press is a handstand push-up. You can use the wall for assistance to minimize the need to balance and focus on strength. As you get good, try these without the help of the wall. Number nine, Sphinx push-up. The Sphinx push-up is more of a tricep extension in a push-up position. This is a dominant tricep exercise that requires core stability and a lot of tricep strength. You can do these on the floor, but it's more effective if you can find a base or a bar that allows you to get your head below your hands. Combine these with the diamond push-ups mentioned earlier, and you'll be training your triceps with a pressing movement and a tricep extension. Number 10, dive bomber push-up. And finally, we'll wrap up with the dive bomber push-up, also known as the Hindu push-up. This is where you start in a downward dog position or an inverted V. At the start of the movement, you're targeting the shoulders and the upper chest. As you press through, this goes to standard push-up and finishes with a decline push-up. Once you've completed the initial movement, do the reverse to get back to the inverted V position. Push-ups are a dynamic movement that can build muscle and strength in the chest and shoulders. Use these variations with and without load and your physique will thank you for it. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll genuinely help out the channel. Also, if your training and nutrition are in order and you're looking for a bit of an edge, be sure to check out my science-based supplement line. Each product was created using scientifically proven ingredients, all clinically dosed and guaranteed to produce results. And right now you can get 25% off your entire order, plus free shipping using the coupon code MONSTER at checkout. So head over to musclemonsters.com supplements or click the link in the description. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace. Thank you.